Hey guys, happy 2021. I am super excited to talk to you today about my top vitamin C picks of the year. So I have now, I guess, done three of these. Um, and so now I'm like, it's a routine and I'm thinking um, all year long, oh, that has to be one of my vitamin C picks of the year. Oh, that is definitely a contender. Let's see what happens. Um, and that is really the case um, with the Beauty Stat uh, Universal C Skin Refiner. I first talked about this, I don't even know, definitely over a year ago. And so I've been using it all year. I've been through a couple bottles of this and I love it. And it just had to be part of my uh, vitamin C picks of the year. So there's the Beauty Stat Universal C, there's Sunday Riley's uh, CEO 15% 15% vitamin C brightening serum. Really, really good stuff. I'll get into it in a bit. Um, there's, of course, Paula's, uh, the two vitamin C treatments from Paula's Choice. The uh, C15 Super Booster, which kind of looks like the niacinamide serum, right? It's kind of the companion of the 10% niacinamide serum. And the C25 uh, Super Booster, this is a spot treatment, particularly good for dark spots. Um, and there is uh, Josie Moran's Argan Bright, uh, Argan Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum. Love this stuff. Obviously, it's from Josie. It's Argan Oil. Um, so it's an oil-based. It's phenomenal. I'll get into that in a bit. Of course, I love all of these vitamin Cs. They wouldn't be part of my uh, top picks what I consider the best vitamin C serums of the year if they weren't included here. Uh, so let me just start with the CEO. This one, you know, like I had a bit of kind of like going back and forth about this because I'm not a fan of essential oils and skincare. Essential oils are fragrance. Fragrance isn't skincare. It doesn't belong in skincare. And, you know, I get the, um, the drive the preference to uh, make a vitamin C serum smell like oranges or citrus, I completely understand that. I do think it's trite, um, but in spite of that, I love this serum, like for real. First of all, it's not a high amount of uh, citrus oils, but it does give it just this very, very light, light, light citrus uh, scent to it that I love. If you have sens sensitive skin, like really sensitive skin, or sensitive to fragrance and skincare or any kind of essential oils, obviously you can't, this isn't your option. You wanna choose one of the others. Um, but it's a terrific, aside from that, it's, a ter it's got a terrific texture. It's a great formula and consider this a moisturizer. It's got about, so it's got 15% uh, THD, tetra, hexyl, decal, ascorbit which is a, uh, an oil-soluble form of vitamin C. It's stable and it has, it's considered kind of what's called an analog of ascorbic acid or pure vitamin C, which means it's, it's, it's basically the equivalent of. So it's THD is one of the best forms of vitamin C and you'll see it, you see it in a lot of uh, vitamin C serums today now that you know the technology and the innovation have kind of like um, come a long way since the very first vitamin C serum I worked on at Kiehl's uh, probably 10 years ago now, maybe even more, more than 10 years. It's the uh, Dermatologist Solutions Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Uh, back when we first formulated that, when we first created that product, it was 10% vitamin C. Today, Kiehl's has amped it up to 12.5%. It's a really, really good formula. Um, and so anyway, the Sunday Riley CEO, it's got 15% THD in it. It's also got about, I by, by, by my estimate, 10 to 12% squalane oil. Um, I don't remember what ingredient number it is, but that's a terrific moisturizer. So consider this uh, just kind of a, a lightweight lotion, vitamin C powered lotion. You can use this as your moisturizer. If you're not extremely dry, it's, you know, cold here in New York right now. I could use this as my lone moisturizer uh, during most of the year, but not the, the coldest winter months. 
Um, really excellent product. It's $85. Um, I, I just, I, I just like throughout the year I was trying it and it just kind of grew on me and I realized that I loved it and it needed to be in my top picks. Uh, next, let me go to the Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner. This has a 20% um, concentration of L ascorbic acid, which is the pure form of vitamin C. Um, it also has a what B Stat claims is their um, proprietary encapsulated delivery system. So it delivers that pure vitamin C uh, into the skin layers um, slowly throughout the day so that you don't get any kind of flushing and you get a sustained uh, effect. It has a, a, a light lotion texture. Um, it has actually a really interesting uh, feel to it. I don't know if it's, it feels a little bit grainy. That's the, the, the vitamin C powder because it's not, oil, it's not an oil base. Um, so the vitamin C kind of, it, it just stays, that pure powder stays um, pure. It doesn't break down. Uh, this, this product as well as, I can't remember which, oh, the Paula's Choice uh, Super Booster contains a, uh, 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 a form of silicone called, if I remember, if I'm going to remember this correctly, cyclopentasiloxane. It's probably CPS. Um, and so that's a form of silicone. It's, uh, it, Paula's Choice uh, believes it has hydration benefits. Um, really, it's a, it's a, it acts as an occlusive to prevent water loss uh, and loss of moisture and, and water. And so if you're not a fan of silicone, I have no problems whatsoever with silicone. Uh, this isn't, this isn't going to be your go-to. Um, if you don't have a problem with that and you want a really strong 20%, like that's a great concentration of vitamin C, um, really effective. This, uh, this comes in at 80 bucks. Um, so in addition to that uh, encapsulated delivery system, if I, if I remember correctly, there's only seven ingredients in this in this entire formula, um, including two that help to um, that kind of help the vitamin C help you get the most potency and efficacy out of the vitamin C. One is um, the purest form, the most effective form of green tea. I can't remember what it's called. Epigala, the late. Um, abbreviated as GCG. Um, so uh, there's great, it also has tartaric acid in here, great antioxidants. This is a really terrific antioxidant serum with a 20% concentration of vitamin C. Love that stuff. Um, let me talk about the two Paula's Choice options. Um, very, it's kind of crazy to me that until now I hadn't uh, actually tried the C15 booster, which is nuts because the Paula's Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster is like one of my favorite anti-aging products of all time. Um, so this has, this has a very similar texture to that. You're gonna see it's super watery, which makes it really easy to layer. I'm gonna have the brightest back of a hand on earth. Um, really easy to layer into any regimen, right? So with the C15, I'm sorry, with the, uh, the 10% niacinamide, I use that immediately after toning because it's really watery. The same with this, I use this after that um, if I'm using them in the same routine and a bit about vitamin C and niacinamide in, in this together in a moment. Um, but it just, it's very, very easily absorbed. And so what you wanna do with serums, I get this question a lot, is thinner to thicker water-based, oil-based. So that's kind of the order. So you want everything that's water-based, you want to kind of apply those first, particularly in, in the form of serums. Um, the water-based products get more easily absorbed into the skin. Uh, the thinner products get more easily absorbed into the skin, and then you want to follow them with thicker products that, you know, if you did it the other way around, the thicker products would impede the penetration of the water-based products, and you wouldn't get the same, uh, the, the same level of efficacy. Um, so this, uh, the C15 contains uh, ascorbic acid, pure ascorbic acid. It's the number two ingredient, if I remember correctly. This is also, also an antioxidant powerhouse. It has uh, vitamin C's BFF, which is ferulic acid. Uh, ferulic acid is a natural substance, a terrific, really potent uh, antioxidant. Of course, you 
probably know about SkinCeuticals, CE Ferulic. Um, Ferulic keeps vitamin C stable in a water-based formula. So if you have a water-based vitamin C, um, you want to you wanna be sure that it has ferulic acid in the inky somewhere um, because that's what keeps the vitamin C, the, the pure vitamin C stable. Um, what else? Oh, there's also vitamin E in here. It's just a really, it's a really terrific uh, vitamin C serum. It goes for 49 bucks. Um, and again, uh, so to, to my point earlier about vitamin C and niacinamide, I hope that myth is gone, but people do seem to keep bringing it up. Um, every once in a while I hear it, it's completely untrue. Um, there's an amazing article uh, from the experts on the Polis Choice Research Team on my blog at SkinKarma.com um, that goes into the backstory, the history of vitamin C and niacinamide and why there's a myth out there that they don't go well together or that they uh, impede each other or somehow uh, break each other down or whatever. Um, none of it's true. Uh, so go to my website at skinkarma.com and you'll see the so you'll see excerpts of the article and also the link to the full article on the Paula's Choice website. Um, so speaking of Paula's Choice, um, this is the C25 Super Booster. It's a really simple formula. It's basically pure vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid in uh, a bunch of silicone bases, including the same ingredient that's in the, the Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner, the Cyclopentasiloxone, Siloxane, Siloxone, Siloxane, um, which is the form of silicone. And so you, you're gonna see this has uh, dimethicone in it as well. And you see it's like a paste. It's like a thick paste. Can you tell that it's a thick paste? You see? And so what's so great about this is that you can target, I'm like, where do I have a dark spot? I really don't have dark spots on my face. Um, I have dark spots on the back of my hands from sun damage. Um, so, but what you can do with this, if you have a dark spot, let's say I had a dark spot right there, you put a little of this on at night before bed, or you can leave this on throughout the day and just keep using it. And over time, your dark spot's gonna stay, it's gonna fade. Um, it, um, it all, it, so this delivers, uh, a, a really potent 25% concentration of vitamin C just to that one tiny area. If you apply a vitamin C serum, obviously it's going to be absorbed, but this kind of just stays put. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't evaporate. Um, you know, I guess it could rub off on the pillow. So just sleep like this. Um, but Excellent, excellent treatment for dark spots. If you're concerned with dark spots or patches of hyperpigmentation, this is a really excellent treatment. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, maybe 53, 54, 55, something. Um, all the prices are on the blog, of course. And again, um, all of the inkies are all the way at the bottom of the blog for each of the, each of the products. Um, so what do I do with this? I guess I'm just going to be sure that I don't have any pigmentation on my neck. There we go. Uh, last but not least is the Argan Bright Skin Vitamin C Serum. Uh, obviously, it's an oil-based. I love oil-based vitamin Cs. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's like vitamin C and olive oil. That's what it feels like. Oh, I just love this product. Sorry. Um, it is what it is. Um, it's just, it's amazing. It's just amazing. It's very simple. It's about 60, 70% um, argan oil in here. Um, and then uh, I think I estimated that there's about between five and 10%. So let's say 8% concentration of, um, uh, of vitamin C. I can't remember. I think it was uh, ascorbic acid. It's just a really terrific product. It's very basic. Um, a little goes a long way. It's moisturizing. If you use this as a facial oil at night, um, a vitamin C powered facial oil, that's really what it is. Um, really, really good stuff. 65 bucks, if I remember correctly. Um, love it. All right. So that's it guys. Um, but actually I have, 
I have something that I want to show you. Speaking of vitamin C, I just got my hands on this. This Super Goop Daily Dose Vitamin C and SPF. Uh, so it's got SPF 40. I can't, I don't, I don't remember what level of vitamin C it has, but check it out. Look at this. It's SPF with vitamin C in it. God, Super Goop, you guys are amazing. I'm really, really, really excited to play around with this. Again, it just came yesterday, so I have it on now, in fact. Um, that's really why I didn't apply any of these vitamin C's on my face. I've already finished my skincare routine and topped it off with SPF, but I'm really excited about this, so stay tuned. Um, that's it, guys. Again, happy 2021, and uh, go to the blog, skincarma.com. Everything is there. Everything I've said and more, things I forgot, things I messed up, everything, all the details and facts are on the blog. All right, catch you later. Ciao.